In this video, we'll be talking about crossplay, campaign gameplay, as well as skill based matchmaking, and when can we expect a flight for Halo Infinite. We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So occasionally on this channel, I like to go to my community page here and ask you guys questions if you have anything you're wondering about Halo Infinite. And you guys certainly replied a lot. So I really appreciate your participation in with the questionnaire. If you want to take part in the next Q&A video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel to know when those community posts do go live. And if you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. JMoney24 asks, do you think Halo Infinite will have PC crossplay with console for campaign as well as multiplayer? Now, when I first read this question, I was like, yeah, I mean, they have crossplay in the game. Why wouldn't it be in campaign? But actually rereading the most recent April development update, they strictly talked about multiplayer crossplay. They didn't mention anything about campaign crossplay whatsoever, which is a little concerning to me because I fully expect crossplay campaign gameplay to be a possibility since it's kind of been like Microsoft's motivation for gaming, a big push moving forward to try to get everyone who is on the platform. And if you want to play a game, that Microsoft owns, you can play that game no matter what the platform is. Though I feel like the idea of crossplay really is kind of more towards multiplayer side of things rather than cooperative kind of style of gameplay. And I'm sure we'll get a chance to know more about this kind of stuff when E3 rolls around in June. Trust me guys, I'll definitely be uploading a ton of these letting you know all the information you need to know about E3 for Halo Infinite. We will be doing a live stream watch party on my Twitch channel. Link in the description down below if you guys want to check that out. We do stream every Tuesday and Thursday as well. Personally, I fully believe there will be campaign crossplay, but we actually don't really know much about that. All we know is multiplayer crossplay is certainly happening. And I think since they're building the game ground up with crossplay in mind, I would suspect that there would be campaign crossplay, but we'll just kind of have to wait and see. GTR Blackhawk asks, Will there be a PvE mode, Firefight, or something like Spartan Ops? With 10 years worth of updates, do you think there'll be some lore-based story or outside of Chief's story that we will get to play? That's one thing I've actually kind of wondered about as well, because if people are going to be buying this game for $60, essentially for all we know right now is that they're getting the campaign, which Obviously, getting a full-length campaign is, you know, worth a decent amount of money, but is it worth $60 nowadays? And I think with the semi-open world that 343 is developing for Halo Infinite, that we will see a much bigger emphasis on PvE side of content. And I would really like to see some kind of form of a PvE mode in there. Will it be Firefight? I really don't know. I think they'll try to find some kind of PvE mode that they can kind of try to integrate into the semi-open world of Halo Infinite. Personally, I would like to see something new on Honestly, like not necessarily Spartan Ops or even Firefight, but something new and different that we can have a chance to play that could be just as awesome. We just haven't had a chance to play it yet. Because firefighting is fun and all, but it's actually to me kind of like a little boring to play, to be honest. Unless you're like playing custom games, and you're playing like these three hour long marathons. Those get pretty fun. Uh, but like your standard matchmaking games are kind of boring, to be honest, in my opinion. Spartan Ops had a great story, but a horrendous gameplay. And so if they can find some way to kind of make like a Spartan Ops like thing, but with actual good gameplay, I mean, I'd be certainly interested in that for sure. Plus I think it'd be a cool way to try to integrate like a story around your Spartan in a way, right? If you're playing as your Spartan in a Spartan Ops like game mode, it'd be cool to try to see if they can try to implement like a, you know, silent protagonist is you, your customized Spartan into like some kind of story elements, which is something I actually really liked about like Halo Reach's campaign that you actually get to play as your Spartan in the campaign. And I would like to see some way of that coming back in Halo Infinite. Again, there's multiple ways to go about doing it. They could also just not do it at all. So we just have to wait and see. Armani asks, do you think Halo Infinite will have skill-based matchmaking or something on par with it? It was actually confirmed in the April development update that skill-based matchmaking will be in Halo Infinite. The quote within the development update says, if we do our jobs right in combination with our true skill two ranking system, everyone should be able to trust they're getting a fair shake in crossplay ecosystem. Now, when they say rank ranking system with true skill two, that's two different things to be honest. Because uh, the rank system, what they mean by it is like your MMR, like we know back in Halo 5. Halo 5 currently does use true skill two for matchmaking. This is like your MMR rank, which kind of fluctuates a lot depending on how well you're playing that day. 
well, your like skill rank, like your you know bronze to onyx to champion tier, that's more your more steady kind of consistent kind of rank, if that makes sense. Now, I'm actually all for skill based matchmaking to be in Halo. I think it'd be a great way to hopefully kind of keep all the new players away from some of the highly skilled players that they really shouldn't be matching against. Uh, I don't think it will definitely won't be like the old days back in like Halo 3 Social where you just kind of match against anybody who's in your area. They're doing a little bit more sophisticated way about doing this whole thing. Like I'm all for like brand new players or people with disabilities or some people who have like just are not able to be on par with like your standard Halo player. Yeah, put them out of lower skill bracket so they can have their fun and not get completely stomped on by the general public. Then you got like your mass like 80% general public of people you play against and then you got like the top 20% you probably match like battle against each other a lot more. That's personally what I would like to see happen with skill-based matchmaking. Of course, this is something that can be tweaked and messed around with on 343 side. Uh, just a big thing is to make sure that if you, whenever the game does release, that if the skill-based matchmaking is too strict, which I feel like games like Call of Duty, it's far too strict for your social matches, that you gotta let the people know at 343, like, hey, this is just a little too sweaty. Let's tone it down a little bit. I'm all for strict skill-based matchmaking when it comes to your ranked modes, because that's kind of like where you test your skill, right? In your social matches, it should be just a bit more casual and loosened up on the ranking system but you know it's all how 343 things it will maintain the player activity within the game so i've heard that like basically you know stricter skill based matchmaking tends to actually bump up the activity numbers of players within the game rather than having like loser skill based matchmaking like they had previously like in other call of duties but that's just their numbers that's what they say uh but from my experience that like if your social matches are playing like ranked matches then what's the point of social david Seholm, if i pronounce that correctly asks do you think that drones slash the Yan Mi or engineers will return to Halo? I'm actually kind of interested in this question because I don't think we've actually seen any banished buggers or drones, if you want to refer to them. I actually had to look this up on Halopedia and they talked about the different species that are within the banished. Those are the brutes, the hunters, elites, grunts, engineers, jackals, and even a human as well. No mention about the drones whatsoever, which is kind of interesting to see that they're not really might not even be in the game, which would be kind of crazy to think about. Though honestly, like I'm kind of okay with that because I've never really been a fan of playing against the drones in the game. I feel like they're kind of just like a nuisance really. And they're just like, they just kind of float around. They, they'll put little, tap you with little bit of shots and they don't really do any damage. They're, they're just to kind of distract you and just be like a nuisance really. Or maybe that's the, just the idea of the character themselves is just to do that. Though I do like the idea of the engineers as we've seen from ODST where basically they kind of act as like the high priority target even though they're much more of a passive character because they provide shielding or probably regenerate shields a lot faster for enemy players. So you want to take, make sure you take out your engineers first, then you take out the enemy guys. But so far, yeah, it doesn't look like the drones are coming back, but we'll just have to wait and see until the game releases. Last question here is from Cody Washington. Do you think they will release a Halo Infinite Alpha or Beta over the summer? It all kind of depends how they want to go about doing the Alpha Beta flighting process. If they're looking to do like just like a one flight playthrough for everybody, you could possibly see it more likely in like October, like a month before the release to kind of build up that hype for the release of Halo Infinite. So it's much more like a stress test on the servers and like a demo kind of thing rather than like a flight. But if they're looking for the actual community feedback, well, you probably need to push that back a little further, maybe into like August or September, maybe even July. I mean, we don't really know. The last thing they mentioned about flighting was that it would happen later this year, meaning sometime after June is when we we'll probably will see some flighting process happen between June and November. Those are the months we'll see it. Now, if they do plan to do the small scale to, to larger scale kind of flights, then we probably will see maybe like content creators or something like that get like an early access to the flighting process or something like that, just kind of get the name out there a little bit. And then maybe like another flight that gets like some larger community members and then like a completely open flight, probably like in October, like I mentioned, to kind of get some hype for the game going. It'll just be very interesting how they go about doing the flighting process if it's gonna be under NDA. And so then it doesn't really ruin people's first interpretation of the game. But I feel like if you're gonna hand the game out to the general public for a flighting process, well, it's going to leak and people are going to be posting pictures and posting videos. And I'm just afraid that it will like take away the uh, first time experience of playing a new game or everyone's first impressions because everyone will be trying to listen to each other, what everyone else thinks about the game rather than playing for themselves kind of thing. It can get pretty messy with that process. 
I just hope 343 picks the proper people that they want to take surveys from when it comes to this finding process and so then they can give some constructive feedback rather than people who just want to jump in and play the game early. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. If you've been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so or missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. Got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.